it's pretty basic. And what happens is you get your lawyer to do the motion. Um, now, to do a motion in Marin County, what we do is we fill out some forms and we do a declaration. And that declaration is going to basically show that, you know, you've changed your ways, that, you know, you're not doing things to get yourself in trouble anymore. You're not drinking and driving, that kind of thing. So what happens is we have a client, you know, hires us to do the expungement. Um, we send the client paperwork. That paperwork will have a bunch of questions that we give them to turn into a declaration. We turn it into a declaration, send it back, make sure everything's okay, um, makes sense and is correct. And then the client signs it and gets it back to us. And then we file the expungement with the court. Uh, we file a bunch of copies and we also uh, file it with the district attorney's office in Marin County. And then what happens is the court will look it over and they will, um, it, as long as you've complied with all the conditions of probation, we will usually get it granted. Sometimes we need to do a hearing if there are some issues that are, are a little unclear, but typically we'll get it granted and then the court will send us a notice saying that it has been granted. You know, they get the DA to check off and just make sure that everything was complied with before they send that out. And then um, the court will send the Department of Justice a notification that they've granted the expungement, which is basically a dismissal of the case. And uh, within three to four weeks of that, the Department of Justice should... Um, put that notation into your, um, you know, your, your criminal record. And when uh, a check is done, um, it will show up as a dismissal. It'll no longer show up that it was, there was a conviction. It should show that the uh, uh, conviction was dismissed, which is a great thing for many purposes. And we'll go into the different purposes in a minute.